Hey, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So if you turned in, turned, tuned in last episode, we were basically doing an assassinate mission. We ended up fighting 10 mechs, which is a little ridiculous, but we managed to pull it off. Took a bunch of damage, managed, managed to make it through the financial report. I've repaired everything up now. And next financial report's in 21 days, so we are going to need to make some cash before then. Hopefully we can choose a nice light mission first, and then right after that we'll be able to take on another uh, heavier mission before the end of the month. We want to make sure we have enough cash in the bank to be able to meet our requirements before we actually take on a mission. Um, so another mission that would be uh, a little harder. So let's go to contracts real quick. We're going to find, try and find something easy, I think. Defensive one, not so good. Noisy neighbors. Uh, chances of fighting two lances, maybe. Sending a message. Destroying a base. I think we're going to take this one. Probably easier than the rest. Let's negotiate. And we're going to go two of ten salvage this time. 97,000 just in case. Um, I don't want to use up too much cash for drop costs and repairs. But uh, I think 2 of 10 will probably be fine. Let's accept this. And we're going to go with our typical lance. Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Let's go back and fix the Centurion first. I forgot to do that. Um, basically, he's just missing a hand on one arm. So we can. that should just be a day of repair. Eventually, I want to load this guy out with uh, SRMs too. But we're not going to do that right now because it'll take too many days, I think. So we did buy a hand last time. Let's drop that in. And yeah, I'd like to be able to put the double heatsink in at some point because this guy's overheating a fair bit. But right now we can't afford to do that. Uh, we definitely want to add more um, armor and stuff too at some point. But we'll have to worry about that later. Uh, we don't really have any ballistic weapons to replace the AC-10 with. That uh, 12 tons is... we're kind of stuck with that, unfortunately. Um, let's cancel. Let's confirm this. So we got uh, two days to wait right. to put a hand on. Two days for a hand, eh? Okay, well, we have to take it. We're into the middle of the month now. Bit of a pain, but... Alright, let's do our contract now. Sending a message. Alright, same lance as before. Let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. Same app as last time. There's our target. So the chances are it's going to be... Well, you never know with Rogue Tech. Could be two lances of guys. We're going to reserve back to turn one. Going to need to watch out for turrets, so I want to pull out the mechs. And then worry about turrets afterwards. Actually, Pylon's our main scout, so let's get him up here first. We get in, let's just get in the trees here. Acknowledged. Okay, we got one Chevron. Yeah. Let's get Hickory up behind him. Roger. So the Jenner is doing really well for us. That those uh, Thunderbolt missile launchers are actually really nice pinpoint damage. Kind of glad I pulled the small lasers off this guy and uh, put some more armor and stuff on it because. Uh, it's definitely needed it. Alright. One mech. Let's see what they're up to here. Alright. Um, let's reserve. See what they do. Okay, they're going to let us go. So Pylon's going to come down and engage this guy. So let's get right to here. On the move. Full speed. So the Phoenix Hawks got, you know, the most armor of any any of our mechs right now. Locked on. So I don't mind him going first, getting out front. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. That's all right. Didn't expect you to hit. Not at that speed anyway. What do you need? Let's get you down here too. Copy that. Let's start unloading on these guys. Better chances to hit for you. Nice. Now question, do these guys have full armor? They, Well, they did. Not anymore. Okay, spider. Standard spider, double medium lasers. Okay. Can we get in the trees down here? We can't really. But that's fine. 37 with the AC. 
50 with the AC. Let's fire everything on this guy. Let's give him the good news. Not quite unstable, unfortunately. I was hoping for that, but not quite unstable. What's this guy? Wasp. Okay. So there's no real good salvage to be gained here, unfortunately. Uh, a couple of thunderbolts. Let's hope for a bailout somewhere along the line here. Well, there's a bailout. So we can probably pull the engine off that guy. Wow, almost shot his own guy in the back. So we got an AC turret, so we're going to have to move up behind this rock here. So, uh, let's... They're going on turn three. So let's get Behemoth... Um, hmm. Can we sprint down in the water? We can. 74... 63. Let's sprint down here and see what this guy is. Another spider. 63. Let's fire on this wasp. Okay, nice couple of chunky hits on him. Okay, spider coming in. Couple of medium lasers. I don't think there's any way to engage that wasp without incurring the wrath of that turret back there. Um, so we're going to get maximum evasion here and we're going to move in. And engage the wasp. I want to try and take him out as fast as possible. Ah, uh, not quite, but do some half decent damage on him. Okay, that's interesting. Jump all you want, buddy. It's not going to save your ass. Here comes a melee attack. 14. Okay. Do they think they can hurt me? Oh, they can hurt you, all right. Standing by. They can kill you if you're not careful. Okay, we're going to walk out here. We're going to unload with all our lasers on the side of this wasp. Ugh. Lousy amounts of damage there. They got a lock on me. Yeah, I see that. Is there any way to get in front of you? There is not. 37 and 50s. Hmm. What if we just walk out here? That's pretty good chances to hit. I'm going to leave the LRM off. Ran out of ammo on the LRM last time, just before the end of the fight. Oh, bang, you're dead! But I don't think that'll be the case in this one. Just leaving it off because of a poor chance to hit, and I want to use it against the turrets. Ultra 2s, damn it. Got to move out of the way now. That's all you got? You, stop incurring the wrath of the RNG. Going to move over here. Get, our, get rid of that instability, fire on the side of this guy, Attacking with everything. You need to go to laser school, girl. You miss with more of those than anything. Okay. Sure. So, let's get Behemoth. Doesn't really matter which one we go. We're just going to move over here. We're going to hit this guy. Okay, one hit. Nice. Almost unstable. I wonder if I should get Pylon and Melium. Where are you going? Oh, you're going around behind me, are you? I see that. Okay, we're going to come around here. Fire on this guy. Straight in the back. Copy that. that should make him unstable. Inflicted some heavy damage. 
And then Cold Metal should be able to finish him up. I've been sensor locked. Gonna move over here. Fire on this guy with everything. Bang, you're dead. Enemy mech destroyed. And then there was one. Alright, miss, miss the Centurion. Really gotta kill this spider fast this turn. So, let's get yeah. Hickory to just rotate. And we're gonna do an offensive push on this guy. Push him back a turn. Gonna go for a CT hit. Ah, uh, maybe we shouldn't. Let's go for a head hit. We want some salvage, so... If we can hit his head, great. If not, well... Targeting systems janky. They're janky, are they? Receiving you. All right, let's get you here. Affirmative. And we are going to push this guy back a turn as well. Going to go for the head and fire. Affirmative. All right, so now both of our mediums can go on this guy. Enjoy. Damn laser turret. Okay. Should be able to knock this guy over. Good side punch. Let's hope we knock him over. 35 damage. Not quite enough. Where do we get him here? In the arm. Okay, well let's get Pylon back here with a melee, and maybe we'll knock him over. On for Come on. Attack. Put his ass on the ground. Really? Really? Not sure who you're shooting at. Oh, me, Centurion. Okay. Wow. Decided to hang around, did you? Uh, okay. Let's do an offensive push on this guy. Try for the torso shot. Acknowledged. And Behemoth, the same thing. Let's sprint to here. Just so we're out of the way of the turrets. Don't think they're gonna fire on her, but you never know. Do an offensive push, try for the shoulder again. Oh, we got it, nice. We get the knockdown though? That hit something good. Nah, we didn't get a knockdown. Okay, we're just gonna have to kill this guy, I think. Firing straight in the side, leave the LRM off. We're gonna need it for the turrets. All right, now we're up for the turrets. Don't think we're going to get uh, reinforcements, but if we do, they're going to come from over here, I think. So let's get close. Going to have to do a turret at a time. They do have the ability to sensor lock, so we need to be careful about that. But it seems that most of these guys, um, most of the turrets, are direct fire. Or else you'd be taking a lot of LRM hits. Got to get over here. Pylon, let's get you up here. Move order received. And then cold metal. Alright. Let's get this turret first. So we're going to reserve past the turrets. Okay. So let's start this. Let's go with Behemoth first. Can get in to see the turret at front here. And what? Why do we not get this turret? Oh, I wasn't watching. All right, well, we got a fire in the building, I guess. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Yep. Bring it down. I'd rather have shot the turret. Now we get the turret. I wasn't paying attention to where the uh, lines were going there. 
Fire Gun turret, 98, needs 90 damage. There's most of it right there, and there's the rest of it. Okay, so let's get Hickory, actually move Pylon first. Can we get up around this way? Hopefully the turrets won't see us, see if we can finish this building up. Wow, that's really low chances to hit for him. Weapons are in the arm, I wonder why it's at full speed he's having a hard time hitting. Eh, well, we tried. Hopefully you didn't shoot uh, Pylon in the back. Okay, that's fair enough. See if we can get past the turrets. Nope. Ah, I'm tagged, damn. Head hit. Oh, no. Yep-er. We are going back here now. And we're going to shoot this building. Wow. It's history. Okay, let's just reserve. Alright, we can go now. Uh, pylon moving forward. Let's see if we can get this far turret. The headshotter, the headshotter turret. One hit. What's up, Bob? Behemoth should be able to finish that turret up, I think. Got it. Yeah, really good chances to hit. Just need one missile hit. There it is. Cool. That turret is gone. And we're going to be very careful here with Teflon. We're just going to move up. Target this building. No point in moving into a place where they can shoot us right now. Two more misses. You did miss. But your gunner is only at three, so we're going to forgive you for that. Uh, let's get Behemoth up. Um, we're going to target this other Location. turret back here. Well, this one on this side can't see us. Given everything I've got. One, two, and then Hick Hickory yeah. should just be able to finish that up. Hopefully. We can get around here. Here we can. There we go. Understood. Moving fast. All we need is one hit. There we go. Two hits at 26%. Nice. Do the math. One less turret. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. No point in exposing ourselves at this point. We're just going to fire on the building. Not quite enough to kill it. It's fine though. Reporting negative damage. And we will fire on this building, hopefully finishing it up. Yeah, we missed with the AC, oh well. Alright, let's finish this last turret up. And finish these buildings up and go home. So we got no reinforcements, which is good. I like how unpredictable Rogue Tech is with the amount of forces you have to face. Yep. Okay, your job is to finish that turret off. You got seven shots, let's make it happen. Roger. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. That one's gone. It sure is. Alright, we just need two, these last two buildings here. So let's shoot this guy, fire everything. Locked on. Almost done. And we don't even need to move for this one. We're just going to fire on this building. Nice. Excellent. One more and we're done here. Alright, Hickory, giving you first shot. You got the most lasers. You should be able to finish this building up. There you go. Wow, well, hit with almost everything. Ah, uh, you can extract us right here, Samurai. Thank you. Alright. Contract increased by 35%, which is excellent. 96,000. That should at least cover our repairs. And we, yeah, we took a big head hit here on our... <laughs> down to 11. Was, that was close. Large laser hit to the head. Alright, next. 
So we've got two pieces of salvage, and we don't really have any parts from these mechs. I don't really like these mechs anyway, the spiders and the uh, uh, fleas and the wasps. So we're going to leave those out. Small laser pluses, eh. I mean, one evasion pips ignored by the laser. Yeah, that might help out, but I don't know. Fusion core we're going to take for the cash. So that'll give us about 100,000 in cash almost. And what else do we have down here? Anything? Nothing that's really good. So let's take... Let's take a medium laser plus. One. Oh, there's a medium pulse as well. 18 heat though. For two tons. Plus two accuracy. 36,000. Is it... We're gonna, what, what are we going to get more use out of though? We can immediately swap this out. Hmm, let's take the medium pulse. Alright, so we got one, two, three flea parts, spider part, and a wasp part, which we can sell. Hand, which we could could have used before, and a jump jet. Alright, cool. Not bad. Alright, Steiner took Steeger's Den from Merrick. So 13,000, not bad. We made okay money on this one. We made about 83,000. So Firefly and Centurion damage up to seven days. Wow. All right. So let's sell some stuff. Have a look at what's in the store too. We might find something good here. Um, Phalanx power armor, urban mech parts. Interesting. R60X was the one that we have. Hmm. AC 10 plus. 16% range. Two recoil. Well, increase in range is not a big deal for me. Still got these medium laser double. Oh, this is a different one. No, it's the same one, but it costs more. That's bizarre. Minus one accuracy with this weapon. Hmm. Thunderbolt 10s. Hmm. MML5. So a lot of half decent stuff. XL engine, exchangers. Never will be able to get these before uh, they're out of the store, unfortunately. But they'll come back. I'm sure they will. Do we have any dead fire ammo in here? No. I'm hoping we, I was hoping for dead fire ammo for the... Uh, LRM 10, but all right, let's let's sell a few things. I want to make sure we have enough money before the end of the month. Hang on to the medium lasers; probably going to need them. Medium pulse, I'm just going to sell for now. I'm sure we can get it later. Um, the small, we're going to swap out in one of our mechs. Fusion core, we're going to sell that. So we should have enough. Yeah, we got enough now be before uh, sell this one jump jet. All right, so we got enough. So let's go to the mech bays real quick. And now nah, we can't. We have to wait for the fleet to be back. So let's go to Argo. Three days for the Firefly to be back. I keep calling it a flea. All right. So let's swap out that small laser. It's weird that I'm like, am I like, why is it? Why am I happy about um, swapping out a single small laser? Let's put it in the CT. It's harder to hit there, I guess. But uh, any little, any little advantage that we can get now is uh, always good. It's two days to put a, to put that small laser in. It's crazy. Alright, so I'm going to run this to the end when the Centurion's back, and next time when we come back, we'll undergo another mission. we got 12 days before the end of the month. we got enough money to handle that, so we'll be able to take a mission and hopefully get some good salvage off it next time. Um, if, you liked the, if you liked the episode, drop a like, and if you haven't subscribed, please feel, feel free to do so. And until next time, well, I'll see you later.